everyone! Welcome back to Chill Vibes Only, CBO Wellness. My name is Allie and today I'm going to be reviewing the Aura 3 by Leo. So if you're new to this channel, I like to talk about sex and relationships and female sexuality and I also review vibrators because I think it's important that we talk about these things and we share our opinions and we normalize being sexual and masturbation and so I'm here to give you all the advice that I have on vibrators, sex, relationships to help you guys feel more comfortable talking about these things and also making more informed purchases and decisions about your sexuality. So. A quick disclaimer, Leo did send me a couple toys to try out from their brand, which was super nice of them, um, and I'm just here to give you my honest thoughts and opinions on them, and give you a little bit more information about the toys from someone who's used them, so it can help you make decisions going forward if you want to buy them for yourself. Today we're going to be reviewing the Aura 3, which is basically a vibrator that's supposed to mimic oral sex. So if you're someone who really enjoys when your partner goes down on you or performs oral sex on you, this might be a really wonderful, nice toy for you to try. Some quick things about the toy. It comes in discreet packaging, so it just comes in a brown box, but then it's in this like nice sleek black packaging. It comes with a little case to carry the vibrator, so just a little bag, and also their personal lubricant, which is water-based, and it works on all of their silicone toys. This is waterproof. It has a one-hour charge time. It has 12 settings, and it's made out of body-safe silicone. If the toy doesn't come charged, so if you do order it and it doesn't turn on right away, it's just because you need to charge it, so plug it in, um, let it charge for a bit, and then you should be good to go. Um, my first impression of this toy is that it definitely feels like the closest sensation to oral just because of the way that you can control the little knob. So when you turn on the toy, it is quite loud, I would say. It's definitely not something that's going to be completely silent, so if you're looking for a totally silent toy, this one might not be the best for you. But I personally think that you shouldn't feel like you have to hide your masturbation or you know any of your solo sex time so it's not that big of a deal for me that you can hear the toy um, but if you are looking for something super silent just be wary that this does make some noise. It has the 12 different settings so basically you can turn it on and then you can choose the intensity level so if you want it to be a higher intensity vibration or a lower intensity vibration and then you can also choose the way that the little knob moves so you can have it go in circles, you can have it go side to side, up and down. So there's a lot of room to play around with it I personally like using this solo, so it's not something that I use in partnered sex. It definitely, for me, took finding the right spot on my clit to make it feel like oral. So definitely take some time to like place it in the right spot, and then when you turn it on, if you find that you like the side to side, or the up and down, or the full circle, it does mimic, in my opinion, the feeling of a tongue, which is pretty cool. I just think technology is amazing. I think it's like really empowering for women who you know, enjoy that sensation and maybe you don't have a partner, like you have this incredible tool to help mimic that for you. That was really exciting for me and something I was really looking forward to trying out with this one. The toy is quite hard, I would say. Um, so if it is feeling a little bit hard on your clit, you can always de-intensify it by turning it down. I would say this toy is best for someone who enjoys vibrating sensations and not the suction or the sucking. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more light, you might want to check out the Leo Dot, which is also quieter as well. I have a full review on this one, so definitely check it out. I'll put it in the description box down below. But yeah, this one would just kind of allow you to pinpoint and be a little bit more delicate around your clit um, and not have so much pressure, whereas this definitely has more pressure. So if you're someone who doesn't like that intense vibration, this probably isn't the toy for you. I would check out, like I said, the Leo Dot. But if you're someone who likes a little bit of pressure and intensity, I think this is great. It's on sale right now, so it's retailing for about $167 Canadian, which again, is just like a nice treat to buy for yourself. I think this is a really powerful, like independent, I'm gonna own my own pleasure and my own experience with sex toy. I think it's super cool that they have this technology that's mimicking oral sex for women because it's showing that, you know, women's pleasure is important and we do have the right to orgasms and we do have the right to oral sex. So that's what I really love about this toy. I love that it's pushing the boundaries of technology. I definitely do have orgasms from this. Like I said before, it took a little while for me to find the right spot on my clip, but once I did, it's obviously not the same as oral sex, but it does mimic that feeling a lot and it is pretty cool to see. This one's also super easy to work. I always recommend, just because the settings are here, you can turn it on, kind of find the right 
pulse and sensation you want. So if you want it just like a pulse or if you want it like a full flat vibration or if you want it to like murmur, figure out what like sensation you want and then you can choose the intensity. So if you want to go up or down, I find the more you kind of like play around with the toy, you'll start to realize like, okay, I like this setting or that setting. And then as you use it more, you can kind of turn it on and go right to that. I think also too, the more I try out vibrators, the more I realize a lot of it is really just like mental and setting up, you know, your own headspace, making sure that you're focusing on your body, the sensations, maybe you have a fantasy going in your head. That's what's going to help you get, you know, those mind blowing orgasms is you really are present and mindful and you're putting yourself in that experience. And the toy is just there to do the work for you, right? To, to help you out so that you can actually relax your body, relax your mind and focus on creating, you know, this wonderful, mindful, full body pleasure experience. I think masturbation is so important. Why I talk about it so much, it's why I review vibrators so much, is that I think that it's a wonderful self-care routine. It's something that we should do honestly every day if possible. I think it's really great to help calm down your nervous system, to keep you in touch with your body, to let you learn about your body. And it says nothing that you should ever feel shame about, which is why I will talk about vibrators all day long for you guys. I want to help you find the right one for you. So um, if you have any questions about it, let me know. I would say if you're a beginner, you might want to try out the Lily 3 first just because it's about half the price um, and it will start to get you in tune with your body. Like you'll understand, oh, like I like this type of sensation. Or if you try out the Lily 3 and you realize like I actually don't love the vibrating, I want um, more of a suction, then maybe you want to try out the Sona, which is more of a suction based vibrator. So I know personally for me and my body, I love the vibrating sensation, but if you're more into the sucking sensation, like this probably isn't the vibrator for you. So you gotta kind of start somewhere. I would start with the Lily 3. If you're new, try it out. If you're an advanced person and you know that you love oral sex and you love the vibrating sensation, then definitely get the Aura 3. I think it's awesome. But yeah, everybody's different. Every body is different. So you just kind of have to play around and experience what's gonna be nice and right for you and have fun with it. I mean, this is such a fun way to invest in yourself, invest in your pleasure um, and do something kind for your body. Uh, so yeah, I'll link all of the description of the products down below in their website. If you have any questions at all, just feel free to DM me at CBO Wellness. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that helps this channel. And I will see you for another video shortly.